guys, so today's video is going to be a first impressions. Get ready with me on the ColourPop in the Springs collection. And I did pick up the eyeshadow palette and the highlighter. And I also picked up the lippy, one of the lippies from the collection. I just fell for this really beautiful blue packaging. And I keep on seeing people rave about this eyeshadow palette and saying how good it is. So, again, I originally was not going to get this palette, but I just fell for the packaging and I fell for the color story. I think it's super cute. I really love this packaging on this. So, we're going to dive in and use it today. I actually received it yesterday in the mail. I didn't think I was going to get it yesterday. I thought it was going to come today when I was already going to be at work, but it came today so that I can use it. So, this is what the inside looks like. I just fell for like the pool themed background. It really screams me wanting to be at the pool right now. I can't wait to get to the pool after I'm over the last day of COVID, which is today. Um, I'm still going to work today. I just have to wear a mask. So I'm going to jump into this palette because we have to get ready for work. So I'm just going to give you a quick close up. It comes with four shimmers and... The rest are all mattes, and then there is just one matte with shimmer. All the other ones are true mattes, which I kind of like. So we're going to jump right into the palette. So the look that I want to do today is kind of an orange look with a pop of um, blue on the bottom because I kind of want to match the shirt that I'm wearing. I picked up this shirt yesterday from Lucky, and I'm going to wear it today to work. It's super cute. It's like a crop tank top. So I'm going to start with the shade Neon Kiss. I'm just really drawn to this beautiful neon orange shade. So that's what we are going to use. And I really want to see how neon it's going to be on the eyes. So we're going to go ahead and start out with that. Don't mind my dry eyes. I don't know why this eye is a little bit flaky right now. I did put on my Anastasia eye primer and I did set it. I don't know why this um, is so flaky right now. I probably have to put on some Vaseline tonight because my eyes are a little bit dry at the current moment, but it's fine. We'll survive, right? All right, that goes on really, really easily, and it's like a tangerine orange. I really like that. That's super pretty. It's like a golden-y neon orange, and I'm here for it. I mean, I've always loved putting orange and blue together. I think that they're such pretty complementary colors together, and I am a sucker for when ColourPop did this color combo, so I am super excited to try this. I saw a few reviews on it. Angelica Nequa said that she really liked this palette. Um, then I watched Karen Harris and she also said that this palette was way better than the Celestial palette um, that she picked up and also Morgan Turner picked it up as well and she said Morgan Turner also said that this palette was more impressive than the Celestial palette as well. They both had to end up pulling in mattes from this palette to get more pigmentation and more pigmented mattes when they both had tried to use the Celestial palette first. So take that for what you will. I'm not trying to convince you that you need this one over the other one, but um, as soon as I swatched these yesterday, they swatched very smoothly, smoothly, smoothly. <laughs> smoothly and pig pigmented so I'm excited to use it so okay then the next shade I want to go into is this like reddish orangey shade and that one is called get Ariel and this one is the only one that's a matte with shimmer but I think it's a really pretty color and I think it goes really nicely with the orange Oh, that's super duper pretty. And that blends so nicely. That's very smooth. I like that a lot. It shows up really nicely over the orange. Sometimes I can have a little bit of difficulty with that when it comes to ColourPop shadows. 
but that's actually showing up really nicely. So I like that quite a lot. And I am a little bit nasally still because even though I got most of my energy back and everything, it's still like a lingering stuffy nose and a slight cough. So I just get that here and there. But mostly my symptoms have subsided greatly since I first got sick. So that's a great sign. Okay, and then for the outer corners, I'm going to go in with the deepest shade, which is called Chino. Y'all know I'm a sucker for deep browns. I love putting them in my outer corners, so that's for what we're going to use. And when I swatched this yesterday, it seemed like, yeah, that's really nice. It seemed like a really nice deep brown, so yeah, these shadows are blending really easily. Very, very impressed so far. They're very, very smooth, honestly. These were some of the smoothest mattes I've ever swatched from ColourPop, and I'm kind of like thinking that they've really stepped up their formula again because the only palettes I really liked that ColourPop came out with this year was the Disney ones. The Secret Admirer and the All Amethyst I did not like at all. They're both super powdery. The mattes just don't really blend that great, and the shimmers are just nothing special in them. They're just not good. I actually sold my first ColourPop palette on Poshmark, and that was the All Amethyst palette. Someone had bought a few items from me in one order, and she bought that palette too. So that was nice that I got rid of that, because I really did not like it, so... That's why I was a little bit hesitant to get the In the Limelight one because that one is also like the same big panned format, but I actually ended up really enjoying that palette. So that's the first like non-collab palette um, <laughs> that I actually liked from ColourPop this year. So that's why I was a bit hesitant to pick up this one, but then I was like, I got just got sucked in with the color story, and I think it's such a pretty palette for summer, so obviously, because it has the orange and the blue, which I'm a sucker for in the summertime. All right, so let me just put some glitter glue on, and then we will do the lid. Okay, so for the lid shade, I was kind of torn between these two shades, the turquoise which is climb time and hot tub which is like that neon orange shade but I think I'm going to use hot tub because it just looks like such a gorgeous um super sparkly orange shimmer y'all know I love these kind of colors and also I've been really into the shimmers with little sparkles in them lately I can't get enough of them and that's like the shimmer I've been loving lately and that's why I really like the Nude Mood palette as well, is that it has, like, those types of shimmers in there, too. And also, when I, this is gorgeous, by the way, when I swatched these metallics yesterday, they swatched, like, the formula I know and love from ColourPop. And this one is super, super pretty. I love that. Oh, my God. I could not wait to do my makeup today. I probably should have done it a bit earlier, but I just needed a little bit of downtime before work because I have to close tonight. I actually was supposed to work at 12, um, but then one of the supervisors wasn't feeling well. And since I couldn't close last Saturday night because I had COVID, um, she, I obviously told her I couldn't, so I didn't come in. But then she asked me yesterday if I could clothes tonight and I was like yeah sure I'd rather come in later anyway that is really stunning wow I really like that shade okay let me just pop on my brow bone highlight and then I'm going to do my base off camera and then we'll jump into the palette again okay so I went ahead and did my base off camera and I really like how it looks I used the elf watermelon primer I've been absolutely loving this primer for the summertime it's been like my favorite to wear and of course I used the do it setting spray underneath that 
And then for my foundation, I used the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation, and I just love the finish of this foundation. It's full coverage, but it still looks, like, beautiful on the skin. And then for my concealer, I used the Coinciding Urban Decay Concealer. I love that concealer, too. And then I set my under eyes with the Urban Decay Velvetizer, so I used all Urban Decay on my face. And then for the powder, I used the Coinciding Urban Decay Stay Naked Powder. I was thinking about making it a color pop day, but since I haven't really been able to wear many foundations for like a week, I wanted to whip out some of my older favorites. There's like a piece of hair somewhere and it's driving me nuts. Okay, so now we're going to go back into the palette because I really want to do that pop of blue on the lower lash line. Um, but I'm also going to take the shade Prick Me and I'm going to put that one on the inner corners. It's such a gorgeous, like super shimmery, sparkly uh, color and I just think it looks absolutely insanely beautiful. And then for the lower lash line, I'm going to use the shade Hole in One, which is a really beautiful deep blue. So I'm just going to wipe off my brush. And I'm going to take that shade Prick Me. I think this is a super shock. So hopefully it picks up on my brush. Yeah, that's super stunning. That's, wow, that's gorgeous. I probably should have um, cleaned this brush off last night, though, because there's a little bit of pigment left over from other shadows but it's all right that is really beautiful yeah i love that that is super pretty god i can't wait to use this all over my lid because i bet it's gonna be so super sparkly on my lid because, like I said before, I've been loving those super sparkly shimmers lately. That's, like, all I want to wear every day now. That is stunning on the inner corners. Really made it pop. Okay, and then I'm going to take that hole-in-one shade. It's probably really pigmented, so I don't want to take too much. And I'm just going to throw that on the lower lash line. There's a tiny bit of fallout with this shade, so just be a little bit careful. Build it up a little bit slowly because sometimes these deeper shades tend to have a bit of fallout, which is not a big deal to me. As long as it's pigmented, I don't really care. These are blending out gorgeous and... I am super impressed with this palette so far. I think it's beautiful. And <laughs> it was going to be my summer, my August may, uh, purchase for the palette I wanted to get. Because I've been pick all I've been picking up is ColourPop palettes since May. Um, so I, after this, I kind of want to pick up a different brand. I'm thinking about picking up the Nomad palette that launched last month, the Provence, Provence palette, I think. It's really beautiful, so I'm thinking about getting that one. Probably in the middle of August, because I haven't worn makeup that much when I had COVID. Like, I really just took a break from makeup, because I was just too tired to even put on makeup the first day I had it. And I didn't even want to film that day either. Like, even though the first time I had COVID, I was filming every day because just to wear makeup and to try things that had come in. Because I ordered a lot of makeup during that time because I think that was during, like, Christmas. And then the second time I had well, it was when my mom had it. And we were 
trying to avoid my mom, so all I really did was film, and I couldn't really spend as much time with her. But now, since this time, we could spend more time together. Um, I just wasn't really wearing makeup as much, and I only filmed, like, three videos. So, there is the blue. Okay, so we have two options for the lower li for the liner. I could either do this neon orange or I could do the blue just to tie in the blue more. Oh, these are both such pretty options, but I think I'm going to do the blue just because the orange is a little bit too light for this look. I also have a metallic color that I could use, but I just want to use DTLA and keep the lower lash line pretty blue. So I just want to tie in that color. Yeah. Love that. That looks super pretty. I've used this blue liner from ColourPop so much this summer. This one is called DTLA. And I've just been loving this one. It goes with like so many looks. I'm just going to use that. Alright, I'm just going to clean up the eyeshadow off camera and put mascara on and then we'll finish up the face. Okay, so I went ahead and did my mascara and I just used my Ilia sample. I've owned this mascara before and I really like that one. Um, that's from the little sample set I got at Sephora and then of course I used my Lash Discovery by Maybelline on my lower lashes. And now I'm going to go in with my favorite bronzer that I cannot stop using, which is the Alviva Beach Bronzer from ColourPop. I just think that gives this gives me, like, the most beautiful, like, summer color to my cheeks, and I love it so much. So I've just been using this bronzer literally nonstop. Even when I was just filming videos, being in quarantine for a few days, this was the only bronzer I was using still. So, I just, I love it so much. So, I'm just going to go in with that. Just need a bit more up here. That's perfect. And a bit more here. I always forget to connect, like, my bronzer around this area. So, I need to start doing that a little bit more. Okay. And then for the blush... I was a little bit unsure as to which blush I wanted to use because, of course, I have a million orangey blushes that I love. <laughs> I'm going to see if I like what this looks like since now I have the eyeshadow on. I think this is a little bit too orange. I don't think I'm going to use this one. This is the Hello Kitty orange blush. Mm. You know what? Whatever. We're just going to use it. I want to see what it looks like with this. I don't think I've used it on camera. But I think it's going to be really pretty. Yeah, let's just use this. That is so neon. Oh my god. But it's super pretty. I was going to go with a more like shimmery orange. But that's pretty. Alright, yeah. And I really have been loving the pigmentation of this one. It's really, really good. Let me just clean up underneath a little because... See, this is how I wanted it to look on this side. The, the other side's a little bit neon for me, but we'll just even it out. If only my hair would stay out of my face. Alright, I think that's pretty. I think it goes really nicely. So, I wanted to do more of like a shimmery orangey blush. I was thinking about using the Be Perfect one, but it's alright. The blush is already on and I think it looks gorgeous. So, <clears throat> Okay, and then for the highlighter, we have the Palm Springs Highlighter from the collection and this one is in the shade flip flop and this looks like a gorgeous like super shiny pigmented highlighter so I'm really excited to use this one and I'm pretty sure this is a super shock formula 
So I'm just going to take that and that is beautiful. I might even take a little bit on my fingers because that's how the Super Shock really shines is if you use your fingers. So that's really pretty. It's not like super blinding, but it's really, really pretty. I don't know why I cannot see on this side now. Every time I apply my... Ooh, yeah, look how it picks up with the fingers. I was like, whoa, that like just changed it so much more. Yeah, that's definitely more intense with your fingers. So just keep that in mind when you use Super Shocks. They always, 99% of the time, pick up better with your fingers because it's more like a cream to powder kind of formula. So I'm just going to use it with my fingers here and just connect it up here a little. You need the highlight literally everywhere, of course. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, it's very pretty. I feel like I need even more on this side. Yeah, that's better. Ooh, she pretty. That is so pretty. You all know I'm a sucker for these kind of shades. Oh, that's so gorgeous. I love this. Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right, let me finish up the look because I got to go. Right, so I just lined my lips with the ColourPop's Minute Man. And then I'm just going to go in with the uh, Ultra Glowing Lip. I always forget the names of these. Um, in the shade adults only that's the shade that I picked up. I love the blue packaging like how freaking adorable is this? I was like I fell for the packaging for this but also I love this formula because I only have one of these and I really wanted to get another shade So this is the shade adults only and it's more of like the peachy tone color And y'all know I love these kind of colors for me And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. It looked a lot more orange last night when I was trying it on. But now, seeing it in daylight, it looks much more like a peachy nude. And I love it. But yeah, I love this formula because it kind of adds a gloss, like shiny finish to your lips without having to put a gloss on. All right, and that's it, you guys. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. So here are the eyes, the cheeks. And the lips. I'll share my final thoughts later, but honestly, I'm obsessed with everything that I tried. I think it's all beautiful, but I have to go. So please like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram at CBW819 and check out my Poshmark at the same handle. I love you guys so much and I hope you have a great day. Bye. Okay, so hey guys, so I'm back home from work and I wanted to give you guys my final thoughts on everything. I am obsessed with this eyeshadow palette. I think it actually had a really great longevity and I think that the eyeshadows lasted a really beautiful amount of time. And I'm obsessed with the way my eyeshadow looks still. I think it's super duper pretty. Um, I'm in love with this palette already. I know that I try a lot of ColourPop palettes. But that's what I'm here for. To tell you guys which ones are worth trying or not. If you were eyeing this palette for summertime, I would... 100% recommend this. I think that the mattes in here are some of the best that they've done pretty much all year. I even like these mattes more than the ones in the Star Wars palette. I think that these are way creamier and much more pigmented and so easy to blend. This is a great formula. I hope that they keep this formula up and the shimmer, the shade Hot Tub, is absolutely Stunning. It's gorgeous. And the shade 
prick me again absolutely stunning and also the blue didn't go anywhere it sometimes when I wear like these darker colors on my lower lash line I get like that transfer underneath around like the corners of my eyes or sometimes around here this did not budge it didn't go anywhere it stayed the same as that color throughout the entire night so I'm obsessed I love this and I cannot wait to use it more I think it's a gorgeous palette for summertime and I'm obsessed and I understand why this one is being raved about right now because it's a great formula I really really love this one <laughs> so far and then as far as the highlighter goes it's still beautiful it's still like literally the same intensity as it was earlier in the day I think that this highlighter is beautiful I think that the range of shades that they've been releasing with their highlighters now have been very versatile for fair skin tones medium skin tones and dark skin tones they're at least one for fair, for medium, and for dark. And honestly, I love that. And this shade is absolutely stunning. I really do love this one. I think that this is beautiful. Very highly reflective and really pretty. I mean, you can't really go wrong with a Super Shock highlighter. They're always so good and amazing. So I'm excited to wear this again. And then as far as the lippy goes, I'm pretty much obsessed with this one too. I just threw it in my bag, but I can't believe I found it. I love the Ultra Glowing Lip Formula. It's super duper comfortable. I love how it feels on the lips, and it's just a super pretty color. The only thing I would say is that I'm not obsessed with the packaging of these. They kind of get all over the place on the tube when you apply it. And since they're such a wet formula, that kind of causes them to melt a little. So just keep that in mind. You know, but I don't want to be worried about applying it every single time. But it's a great formula if you were interested, inter interested, interested in trying it. And yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I already recorded an intro earlier. I just wanted to update you guys on what I thought of everything. And yeah, I loved everything. So bye.